Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm talking about the difference between a nonprofit board of directors and an advisory board. Let's get into it. Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Boss in the Budget. I help new and small nonprofits get up and running. If you need help with your nonprofit, make sure you are subscribed to this channel because I'm dropping videos every week to help you out, all right? So today I'm just continuing a series of videos that I like to do that compare the differences in different terms. And so the two different terms I wanna go through today is your board of directors and your advisory board. So I wanna break down the differences between those and so you can see the value of having both if, if you feel like it's a requirement for your nonprofit organization, just so you can figure out the best way to approach and plan for your nonprofit. Now, don't forget, I have a bunch of videos just to help you navigate your startup process. So one in particular I just want to call out is called What is a Board of Directors? So I'm linking that video above so you can check it out if you also want more details about the responsibilities of a nonprofit board. Okay, so first things first, let's break down the definitions of both. So with your board of directors, that is the governing body of your nonprofit organization. Those are the people who have the highest level of responsibility for your nonprofit. The buck stops with the board, okay? So when something goes down with your nonprofit or an important decision needs to be made regarding the direction of the nonprofit, it is the nonprofit board's responsibility. That's where their responsibility lies, okay? It's the board that makes the decision about moving forward with tax exempt status. It's the board that makes decisions about your values, about your mission, about your vision all of that. They are the governing body. And because nonprofit corporations do not have owners or shareholders, that means that not one person is wholly responsible for the direction of the nonprofit, not even the founder. That means that as a collective, the board needs to make decisions about what's happening concerning the nonprofit's future. Now, an advisory board is a little bit different. It's more of a committee of folks put together to advise on particular topics or to advise on particular initiatives. Typically when organizations use advisory boards, it's to help them make certain decisions. It's not necessarily to cover everything that goes on with the nonprofit, but there are certain things that an organization may need input on. An advisory board gives them more flexibility to recruit different people with different perspectives and different backgrounds without having to go through all of what's required to vote someone on your official board of directors. So an advisory board gives you a little bit more flexibility and helps you be a little bit more nimble in deciding what voices you want at the table to provide insight and input on certain decisions that your organization needs to make. Now, let's talk about three major differences between the two. And as I go through these differences, it'll help you understand a little bit more about why they're different and how they're different. So first things first, when it comes to a nonprofit board of directors, the board is legally responsible, right? So they are legally responsible and also are liable for certain decisions that the nonprofit makes because they are the final say in major decisions about the strategic vision of the organization, the strategic direction of the organization, they are legally and ethically responsible for the decisions made on behalf of the nonprofit. Now, as an advisory board, they don't have necessarily any legal responsibilities to the board. Unless it's written that way in your bylaws, which typically it is not. Typically, an advisory board is not written into your bylaws. So if it's not written into your bylaws, then the advisory committee is less formal than the board of directors and they're not legally responsible for decisions made and because they're providing advice right because they're providing a review they're not necessarily making decisions for the nonprofit. it's ultimately up to the board to make those decisions with input from that advisory board the second difference is with your nonprofit board they are responsible for setting the tone for your nonprofit. So that means they set the tone in terms of the values that they want to the organization to embody. They set the tone in terms of governance. They set the tone in terms of the vision that they set 
and the strategic direction that they put forth for the organization. They have to make decisions about what's best for the organization. What direction should we move in? On the other hand, the advisory board is just providing input and providing insight and providing almost like a check and balances for that strategic vision to remind the board of things that they may not be seeing or other things that they're missing as a part of setting the direction. So I'm gonna give you an example of this. So in 2020, a lot of companies woke up uh, related to things like racial justice and equity um, with how they approach things. And so a lot of organizations said, well, we need to put a set of values out that reflect a commitment to equity, that reflect a commitment to diversity, right? So as a nonprofit board, you may want to adopt some kind of guiding values, or you may want to adjust your vision to reflect that. But the advisory board can help you in creating those values. They can help you understand what's missing in a set of values that have been drafted. And they can have people from a lot of varying perspectives, skills, expertise that may not exist on the board to provide input on that process. So they would present that back to the board. And ultimately, it's for the board to adopt for the overall organization, but the advisory board and the board can work together to make that happen. So I hope that that example helped clear it up for you. The third difference I just wanna bring up between the two is obligations as a result of their service. There are certain obligations, whether you realize it or not, because a lot of people really don't understand the role of a nonprofit board of directors, but there are certain obligations that the board has they should be responsible for the financial health of the organization, which means they need to participate in fundraising. Now, some people will say, well, that's an option for my board. I don't require my board to fundraise. But one of the key responsibilities of a board of director is to ensure the financial health and to participate in fundraising. And that should not be an option because who else is going to be responsible besides the people who are legally responsible to make sure that the nonprofit exists, right, can maintain? Who else but the board should be responsible for making sure that happens, right? Another example is setting policies. So setting important policies around how the board is supposed to govern itself. The board is obligated to do that because they need to set some standards for how they want to operate. But an advisory board doesn't necessarily have those kind of obligations. An advisory board doesn't necessarily have to help with fundraising unless they're a board set up to do that particular purpose. They don't necessarily have to set policy. They may you know, help reflect or review on the policies and provide advice, but they don't, they're not obligated. They don't have to do any of that stuff because ultimately they're not responsible. Now, again, some of the things that's in their charter or in their charge may reflect some of that, but again, it's not an obligation and they're not ultimately legally responsible for that. So I hope that last example, again, helped clear some things up between an advisory board and a board of directors. You can use both effectively for your nonprofit to help move your vision and your mission forward. You just need to understand the role of both. But also, if you're having issue getting people committed to your board of directors and you can't necessarily get people on board with that serious role of being on the board, at least you can recruit people to be on an advisory committee or your advisory board so that you can still glean some good perspective around how you should approach your nonprofit. All right. So was that video helpful, y'all? Let me know in the comments. I love to respond to y'all in the comments. So let me know if that was helpful. Also, if you need help with your nonprofit, make sure you are visiting my website. You can go to www.bossinabudget.com. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.